What's up guys, it's Ryantium here and today we are back once again in Stellaris Console Edition with the Lockin' Magnists. That's right you guys, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, we are back once again with this lovely campaign that I did not actually think we'd get too far in, but that was just kind of my, uh, my, my guess. Uh, but the economy is looking really good now. Uh, we've got a plus 712 energy income. Keep in mind, a lot of that is actually coming from our trade. Um, well, actually, no, only about 294 is coming from trade. So, I mean, we're, we're doing pretty well as far as all that stuff goes. We do need some more, um, uh, like, strategic resources. However, we are in better shape than we were before. Research is looking mighty, mighty fine. We're a little bit over our fleet cap, and we need to begin to uh, research towards our Empire Sprawl. That's kind of the one thing that I want to get under wraps in today's episode, if we can. So, the way that we're going to try and do that is trying to refrain from expanding all that too much. Uh, now, we did indeed turn into robots, which we are the, the pristine versions of our own self. Um, the problem is, with turning into robots, we now have access to, you know, settle all of these different planets and everything like that, which will exacerbate the problem of our Empire Sprawl. Now, the reason I want to get our Empire Sprawl under wraps is because I want to finish off of this stuff as soon as possible so that we have access to building um, megastructures as well as the online. Colossus Project. Now, we do indeed uh, need to research the... Uh, what are they? The... Um, uh, the Citadels, because then we need to get the Titan tech in order to unlock the Colossus. Because the way I see it is, I want to have the Colossus um, outfitted with either the World Cracker or the, or the Neutron Sweep. I don't think the Pacification Ray is one that I really like to use all that much. Uh, but the World Cracker, I don't know, it just gives me kind of a, a warm feeling in my in my heart, wanting to crack things. But I would love to come over here and crack Soul, just for shits and giggles, but I can't, because they're actually part of our, um, they're our vassal right now, but that's okay. So we did indeed go to war quite a bit in these last couple episodes to kind of vassalize and tributize a lot of the galaxy, and that's going to be kind of a theme in today's episode as well, because we're not going to try and expand all that much. Uh, we're going to try and re um, research a whole bunch of stuff, but then I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be going after the Selami Confederacy, and then the Babaki League and the Xanar Interstellar Autocracy. If we can get those guys done either today or get them started going in today, I think we're gonna be just fine. Anomaly detected. Let's see, where were you at there, big guy? You know what? Can we actually have you or do we actually already have one? Oh, we've actually already got one assisting research. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, you're good. You can just keep doing that. Alright, so yeah, uh, we do want to get food under wraps and everything like that. I am going ahead and colonizing the Lokur habitat, but that's probably about the only expansion we'll do today. Evading hostiles. Where are you evading hostiles, hmm? These are hunters, so they move, unfortunately. What happened over here? Is this our space? No, that's, that's not our space. Uh, but yes, the only other expansion we're going to do is towards that system right there. We need to get MOA under our control. That way, um, we can't have any of the, uh, the other guys try and, try and get there. Okay, we've capped out our energy. Uh, let's just go ahead and buy a whole shit ton of this stuff. And then we'll sell off a couple thousand more of that, and there we go. What happened with you? Can you not find anywhere else? Okay, you're going to be gone. Thank you very, very much. And then you, what are you doing over here? You need to go and build that thing, thank you. Alright, so yeah, we've got lots and lots of planets that we can that we can have. Eventually we'll probably terraform them all into like looking all nice and neat. Maybe we'll all do Anomaly continental worlds or something like that. I don't know. I I like being able to look at my planets layout right here and seeing all of the same color. I don't know, maybe that's just a, a something that I love to do, I'm not sure. Alright, we do also need to worry about uh, the whole expand what the frickin' hell? Oh, I forgot we were redoing this entire planet. Uh, let's put... No, wait, no. Let's put down a um, an energy district. Damn, holy crap. We'll probably get rid of the food on this planet, too. Damn, I didn't realize that all of these freaking... We had so many unemployed on this planet. That's kind of crazy. And we're still going to have a bunch of unemployed. Holy crap. Let's see what's going on over here. Construction online. And there we go, perfect. So now, right here, we'll go ahead and just build all that stuff in there. And we're actually going to go ahead and upgrade MOA to a Star Fortress before we go to war with the Selami Confederacy, because that's where they'll probably be coming from. Establishing colony. And there we go. Oh, you're kidding me. 
Are you kidding me? It's the year 2292, and I have not been able to get the rare crystal mining? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just unlocked that. <laughs> That's the lamest shit ever. Oh my god, you're kidding me. How is it so late in the game? We just finished... Okay, we just finished Mega Engineering, and we just got the Crystal Tech. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my good lord. Okay, let's see. We're in domination right now. Uh, ruler level cap by two, governor level cap by two. These don't really matter, so fuck it. We'll just put that in there. 34 months until we get the last one, and then... Can we unlock Galactic Wonders? Yes, we can. Perfect. So after that, we'll probably be able to funnel a lot of our alloys into the production of our lovely mega structures, which will be wonderful. Now, we're also probably going to be focusing a lot on trade value, not in space, but in space on habitats. Because we have our habitat tech, uh, and we have habitats in the in the home system of Dal Lacour, and we're already having 93 trade value. So the first one that we've got, <clears throat> which is over here in Zersh, this one is already uh, producing how much trade value? Six. And we're only using probably like one of these jobs. New technology discovered. Which is really, really great. Two, one or two of those jobs, which is really good. And then we can go ahead and put on what we need. Flak artillery level three, that will be fine. Uh, we can actually go ahead and upgrade our fleet right now. Let's see. Colony founded. Oh good, there's the, uh, the habitat that I wanted. And there we go, another one of those. How much is this going to cost? 1200 there. And 268 there. And then we need to upgrade the uh, the Federation ship designs as well. To the level 5 stuff. May as well. We'll bring them up to snuff. Oh, what what the hell is the? Oh wait, no, I decided to do that. I decided to do that. That's right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's incorrect. Wait a second. This should be that. That should be that. Yes, now that's correct. <laughs> Such a stickler for things looking the same. All right, and there we go. Okay, that's perfect. Now we can go ahead and upgrade our fleets. There we go. Perfect. So now our fleets are gonna be our fleets are gonna be even more powerful. And soon we did get the Citadel tech unlocked, uh, or at least as a research option. So we'll be able to research Titans here very soon as well. And then we'll be able to get the Colossus project, and then the fun can really begin to be had. Is anyone catching up to me as far as fleet power goes? These guys, uh, let's see. No, nobody is catching up to me. <laughs> no one has caught up to me as of yet. That's fine. Now, if we go to war with the Selami Confederacy, who gets to come into war with us? Uh, me, the United Miko Nas Bloc, or the United Miko Nas Technocracy, and the State of Hifness. That's good. Now, we gotta keep in mind they're also buddies with the Xanar Interstellar Autocracy. However, the Xander Interstellar Autocracy won't come th through here, or they might come through here. I didn't realize that I left myself vulnerable to the north. Construction online. So we need to decide who we're going after first. How many planets do these guys have? They've got 16 online. planets. What about the Selami? They've got six. We're going after them first. <laughs> we're going after the small amounts of planets first. And there we go. The Citadel tech has been unlocked, or the avail the ability to research it has been unlocked. And the reason why we're also online. wanting to catch up with our Empire Sprawl is because uh, repeatable techs. I really, really want to be able to do these repeatable techs a lot quicker. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Just scale your economy with your Empire Sprawl and you're totally fine. The problem is, <clears throat> that requires a whole bunch more pops for me to be able to move around, and because we are egalitarian, I don't want to piss off them and make it so that I make less influence. So, yeah, that's kind of the, the pickle that I'm in right now. Fleet upgrades applied. Wonderful. How are our fleets looking now? Look at that, we got 55k over 60k fleet power. Wonderful. Before the year 2300, I will take that construction and online. run with it. There we go. And we're solving our unemployed problem here on this planet. We're just growing so fast. That's the problem. We're growing so damn fast. Or I should say we're being assembled so quickly. All right. Exciting moment. Domination has been completed. Uh, making our monthly influence increase by one. There we go. And we now have the ability, my friends, to construct megastructures. 
That is right. <laughs> Galactic Wonders is ours, which means how much is the beginning of one of these? So we're lacking the influence, that's fine. Uh, I would say Dyson New Sphere, Ring World, discovered. Science Nexus, but then again, maybe Science Nexus, Dyson Sphere, Ring World? Because the Ring World's gonna be great for food, if I'm not mistaken. Can you do food on those? I think. You can do it on PC, but they're different on PC. I can't fucking remember. Shit! Um, maybe. Yeah, I think the first one we'll do is the Science Nexus, actually. I think it's probably one of the cheaper ones, and it doesn't cost... It doesn't take as long. Plus, we also have the ability to use Living Metal, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we need to do... More of that, please. Good. Now it's only gonna take 18 months. This was taking 34 months before. So every single time we research that, that administrative tech, we're going to reduce the cost by a little bit every time. Now we also need to figure out where we're going to build the Science Nexus, probably within Dal uh, And we'll probably want to go and have you come over there. Then you, what are you doing out here, big guy? You're just chilling. We'll go ahead and have you sit in that black hole system. Our construction ships are kind of on standby, and the only science ship that we have running right now is assisting our research. Now, we could technically have uh, all of the planets that we've got research being done on. New technology discovered. We could probably have them, you know, do all of that stuff on all of those planets. That way we could, you know, get uh, the plus, what is it, 30% research from every planet that's creating research. But at the same time, I think everything's okay. We're actually going through all of the tech right now from before. We're getting through the Swarmer missiles. We're getting gateway construction. Uh, and soon, once we have gate gateway construction, I want to make sure that every single border system has a gateway in it. That's actually a strategy that I like to use. I like to put gateways in my uh, borders, uh, st uh, what is it, choke points. Uh, the border choke points, that way, at a moment's notice, I can jump my fleet from my shipyards all the way out to whatever border it needs to be at. And then we can go from there. There's kinetic artillery level 2. That'll be wonderful for the battleships that we're going to inevitably be, inevitably build. Need to slow my voice down. Holy crap. Speaking at a, a word a second. Alright, so this place needs another city district. And some more of that, please. This place needs a robot assembly plant. Zat Filvak. And wonderful. Yeah, because this gives you replicator jobs. Yeah, it does. The roboticist jobs. That's right. We'll go and build one of those just to... Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. There's already one there. <laughs> I just saw that there was already one there. Uh, another Autochthon monument, please. And some more of those, some more of those, and another one of those. Perfect. And then here, more research. Uh, yes, more research, please. We're generating a hundred of every research, pretty much, on this planet, and we're only at 45 pops. That is what I call successful. So, I had completely forgotten about these bad boys. They can sell you strategic resources, and I can... <laughs> I think I'd probably mentioned that, uh, but since we're very rich right now, we're actually gonna go ahead and take them up on their offers. Uh, so, these guys sell gases. So, for 100 energy a month, we're now making, um, more moats and more gases uh we'll be making eight gas uh, moats and ten gases construction yes. online that's worth a hundred gas a month that is absolutely worth uh or a hundred um a hundred energy a month Ooh, i like this one better though <laughs> we need to get to the uh the better storm fire cannons all right so yeah that that solves a little bit of our issue with um strategic resources however if we can find the other one who makes uh, who has the crystals, that would be even better. Are we not your patron? Shit, what the hell? Oh, and we need to commission art pieces too. Hell yeah. Just need a whole bunch of these. Gotta load up on these suckers. There we go. <laughs> it's so fun being rich. And that's the last one. And this one, organize. Yeah, we'll do that one. And then the other ones that we need to talk to are the curators. Can you aid us in our research? Yes, please. Wonderful. There we go. Now we just kind of bumped up a whole bunch of stuff. And then we can use Exhibit Art Monument. And Exhibit Art. And more art. <laughs> it's so nice, honestly, being able to do this. There we go. And art. Alright, that was the last one, I believe. Yeah, okay, that looks like that's the last one. That's fine. 
The Mega Cannon research has been unlocked. <laughs> I love kinetic stuff. It's so much fun. It's just so, so much fun to shoot things with uh, massive mass accelerators and everything like that. So much fun. Alright, so we are really beginning to spiral out of control right now. Like, we are... Oh yeah, these guys, I, I just, I, I, we, an event just happened where, since we had the um, happiness boost from the um, the curators, or the uh, the artisans, um, the organizers of the actual event wanted to stay. And so it gave us two species of the Mathen Molluscoids. However, they're going to be turned into robots here very soon. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter that they want to live on desert worlds. They'll be glorious machines in due time. Uh, but yes, we are beginning to snowball very, very rapidly out of control as far New as population discovered. goes. Uh, so now it's getting a little bit more difficult to micromanage the worlds, which means we are indeed going to have to expand eventually. Which is kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, we'll only make it better for us in the long run. It just sucks because our, our Empire Sprawl has not even caught up a third that I wanted it to be at right now. I mean, look at this. The capital is just... Oh my good lord. I can't... I can't build plan... I can't build buildings fast enough to catch up with this shit. It's kind of crazy. If I decide to remove the ability of free movement... Um... Wait, I've already been able to... Good lord, Ryan. I've already been able to move people. I just forgot. I think. Uh, policies, resettlement allowed. Yep, that's... Okay. Okay, so I was... I was waiting for nothing. Alright, so that means we are indeed going to have to go ahead and um, start expanding to some more planets. Alright, you ready to see some mass, uh, some mass settling? Let's do it. This is how you do it when you're a machine empire. Uh, let's go ahead and colonize Ascendant. There we go. And you, colonize Ascendant, random name. And then we'll do this one. And colonize Ascendant, Contem Prime, perfect. And Imithin. There we go. Ascendant. Boink. Nice. And then we'll come back down here to this little spot right here. And we'll move on to this world. A lovely blue ocean in the middle of the space. And then, last but not least, we'll come over to this one. So for now, we'll expand to these planets. There we go. Trinic Prime and Ascendant, and there we go. Perfect. The name of that planet's gonna be Sha. Alright, now let's check how many planets are we about to colonize. Construction One, online. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven planets. Perfect. <laughs> I love colonizing. Oh, it's so much Construction fun. Construction online. Alright, but we do need to think about where we're, or who we're going to war with now. Construction and online. And I believe we're going to go to war with them to tributize them rather than uh, vassalizing them, because I don't want them to be vassals. I want them to pay me! Online. Oh my, what is this? Um, okay. We understand that your empire is home to an individual whose brilliant mind transcends the tragical primitiveness of your species. Well, fuck you! While the talents of Ross are sadly wasted in the lock-in mechanism, we are amethy. I always have a use for skilled scientists to work in our archives. As such, we are offering you a unique chance to earn our favor by allowing us to take charge of them. We already have a ship en route to pick them up, so you need only say yes and everything will be settled. I'm sure you won't disappoint us. Do you? Um, it's not us. It's not, it is not up to us to decide. Uh, give our brightest mind? I think not. I mean, we're only losing a scientist, so it's fine. And we have the good favor of a fallen empire, so that's that's kind of fine with me. So I just realized something. Construction online. Our machines have utopian abundance. Meaning, when they're unemployed, they produce unity and research. So it doesn't even matter that we have unemployed across our worlds. They're actually positive for us. <laughs> Holy Mean crap, that's nice. Discovered. I completely forgot that we had utopian abundance because we're egalitarian. That is nice. Granted, we have more upkeep with our consumer goods, but is that a problem? Now, see, this is the best part about having an ecumenopolis. We can just kind of move over our stuff that's unemployed and homeless. And there we go. <laughs> problem solved. And now there's three open, three open houses, and so we'll constantly be kind of cycling people out off of this planet onto our ecumenopolis, 
and then our ecumenopolis will grow and uh it's gonna just be wonderful oh it's just gonna be the best but uh holy crap we are in need of a lot of amenities on this planet um okay why the hell do we need so many damn amenities does this create amenities that does create amenities that creates a lot of amenities let's go ahead and build one of those just in case i know it kind of takes away from the whole arcology of it all but you know we kind of need that uh, we can't build the Ministry of Production as of yet, but that's okay. We're gonna have so many damn pops on this planet, it's insane. It's absolutely gonna be bonkers. Our alloy production is really starting to ramp up, and with the new colonies that we're gonna have, we're going to focus on raw resource extraction a lot. Uh, so we're gonna be able to get a whole, whole bunch more good stuff going. Colony founded. And there's one of our first new colonies right there. So we'll do two of those, one of those, and let's just clear all that stuff out. And we'll start clearing out all of this stuff. Ooh, this is going to be a great mining world, actually. I didn't even notice that. High quality minerals. Minerals from jobs plus 15%. That's going to be great. It's an okay-sized world, but mining districts out the ass, please. And once we have the ability to put down uh, mineral purification hubs and upgrade those bad boys, this is going to be a pretty online. nice mineral planet, honestly. So, the fleet is almost there, if I'm not mistaken. So we're almost ready to go to war. In fact, we're one jump out. Colony founded. And there's the second colony. Uh, why do we already have the ability to build one thing there? What's on this... Aha! Uh -huh. yeah, wait, what? Wait, why are there three... What the hell just happened? How do we have five pops on this planet already? Did I miss something? This will be a great physics one. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I must have missed something. Uh, energy, uh, city district, and then let's just throw down a robot assembly plant. Sure, may as well, right? Okay, odd. I don't know why there's five pops on that planet, but I won't argue with it. All right, <clears throat> so soon we should have the ability to start researching Titans, online. and that will make me a very happy camper. Our bastions are all now outfitted. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're almost all outfitted. Yeah, 12.6k across the board. 6k for those. It. That's perfectly fine. Another kind of good planet. There we go. And perfect. Alright, our fleets are in position, it would seem. Now to go to war. So, the Selami Confederacy, you. I would like to demand tribute, please. And there we go. Let's go to war to make them Technology discovered. my tributary. Activating offensive war <laughs> protocols. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's jump into Vorsham. And let's have a good war, everybody. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> the fleets have arrived. Hostile fleet within range. Hostile fleet within range. Station. Where exactly are you? Are you a tiny fleet? Oh, you're a tiny fleet. There's no way that's their main fleet, though. Not a damn chance in the world that's their main fleet. Alright, so we need to just kind of go through and take out all of these systems. It's going to be annoying as shit having to go through all of these freaking bastions. But I think we'll probably be okay. Now, we do have enemies to the north as well. We're technically going to be trying to fight a war on two fronts. But the great thing is, we have a nice little buffer state right in between us. The Galactic Mandasaurai Hierarchy. Isn't that wonderful? Not to mention we got the State of Hifness and... The United Miko Nas Technocracy with us as well. There's the big boy. Although this wasn't the big boy I was talking about. The Science Nexus construction is now able to begin. But uh, the other thing I was going to talk about is this. Titans. <laughs> oh, I love being rich. It's so fun. Um, okay, Science Nexus right here. 15,000 and it'll take 1,800. Not bad whatsoever. Not bad whatsoever. Oh, look at this! We're in a... F okay, well, that was fast. Good lord, that was that was not even a kerfuffle. That was just a, a, a big of a boost. I, I don't know what I just said. Oh, damn, we've got a whole lot of energy. Uh, let's go ahead and just sell off or buy a whole bunch of that stuff. Perfect. Oh, yeah, we are... Our economy is booming. Absolutely booming. All right, what's going on in this system? This is their capital. Uh, 
Uh, okay, wonderful. What are they gonna try to do? They're gonna try and humiliate us, so it's not even it's not even a big deal. It pays to have allies, although they're getting their dicks handed to them. But the great thing is, is it's not our fleet that's being destroyed, it's theirs. Damn, it feels good. And they're they're gonna have to make their way through them first to get to me. Unless they just come straight through here, because is that my is that my space? Oh shit, that is my space. <laughs> Uh, oops. Uh, let's just go and upgrade that real fast. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Uh, let's do that one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oops. Didn't even realize I had a border open right there. <laughs> oops. I thought these guys were going to expand Receive down to there. Who wants a migration treaty? Commencing you guys want a migration treaty? Sure. You'll become robots, but that's okay. That is a decent sized fleet, honestly. It's a 5, 6k fleet, something like that. <clears throat> this little Corvette does not stand a chance. <laughs> what's your plan here, Mr. Sir? What's, what's your plan? Conquered. I don't exactly know what his plan was. Alright, but let's see. Where's my armies at? They need to go... Construction online. Uh, there was only one planet in this system, right? Yes. We'll have you guys sit in that system for now. And the Titan Assembly Yards have begun New construction. 720 days until that damn thing online. is done. It takes a damn long time, Fleet lost. but it's going to be worth it. Fleet lost? Oh, it's probably one of those little Corvettes. Construction I online. mean, look at look at all the shit. There's just Corvettes splintered everywhere. Which is great if you want to, online. you know, confuse the shit out of your, your adversary, which we're kind of doing. But well, hello there. Good to know. You know what? I think New I could use you. Discovered. I think I would really like to use you there, my friends. Let's see, where are you at? Ildar Ravagers. We know of a good raiding target. No, well, I'd like to hire mercenaries. Uh, okay. The Armada of Voidborn. Oy, oy, oy. Hire this mercenary fleet for a period of five years. It consists of six cruisers, eight frigates, sixteen raiders. Mm hmm. Sure. That's fine. Uh, can we do any more? Hire mercenaries. Oh wait, can I can I buy all of these? Oh, I can. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Goodbye. Uh, let me let me do some trading. Hang on. Let me sell some of that. That should be fine. And then let's talk to you again. Hello, mercenaries. I'll take your other one too. <laughs> okay, so now we've got. What do we have? These guys right here. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, that's a decent sized fleet. That is an, an awesome looking fleet. Are you kidding me? What the hell? That's dope. Uh, okay. So what do we want to do with you guys? Well, honestly, we could be dicks about it and run them into the, uh, <laughs> into that thing. Or can you not do- oh wait, no, we can't move stuff in there because I have the uh, the thing restricted. Hmm, where to send you, you fun people? Can't get through there. We can go up through here. Why don't we have you guys take out all this stuff? We'll have them just take out all the stuff so that we don't have to risk our our ships to fight all this stuff. Yeah, I think that's that's a good a good use of our money. <laughs> I mean, shit, we're rich as hell anyways, so it doesn't even matter. There we go. And then we'll have you guys take these guys out, too. Perfect. All of these mining stations and everything like that. Then we'll just have, we'll just let them loose inside of here, and we'll let them raid all through here. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your, th appreciate your help there. Now, once we unlock... Once we get the next uh, and last tradition unlocked, we'll have the ability to research the Colossus Project... And then everyone will fall to the locket mechanisms. Alright, so unfortunately, because I got so caught up in all of the warfare and expansion and research and everything like that, we've unlocked a whole bunch of cool stuff I wasn't even watching, and uh, we are all out of time for today's episode right here. But we made it to the year 2305, and things are looking great. If indeed the uh, Ending Crisis does spawn in this galaxy, then I think we're probably going to be okay, depending on what difficulty I put it at. 
I'll have to go back and rewatch the first episode and see what the hell they put it at, because I can't remember. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.